Um, if this is what Transperth is doing in its customer service area, it's going to be fascinating to see what it is doing in its corporate comms area. Um, and the man you are waiting for is the manager of corporate communications. He has more than 12 years' experience in the industry, both in Australia and in the UK, um, Mr Richard Barrett. Thanks, Murray. Um, Oren is very modest, but we are actually leading the country on a lot of that stuff um, that, we, that he's talked about there. So. Um, we're the only, the Public Transport Authority is the only integrated um, bus, train and ferry um, organisation in Australia, so everything's under the one roof, so we're able to really do exciting things like that, so it's, it's excellent. Um, I just wanted to quickly talk to you, so I guess closing the loop from a communications point of view, is about one sort of project that we've really, it's sort of still in its infancy really. Um, we've got a huge problem, not only us, but obviously every state with graffiti. Um, and sort of anti-graffiti campaigns. We spent uh, last year $2.4 million on removing graffiti from across the network. So we wanted to come up with some ideas of how we could, how we could sort of, uh, some different ways of doing that, and reaching out to the youth and telling them, you know, don't do this and so on. Um, we had a, a, what we call the PTA Urban Art Project, where we had 10 hotspots around the, around the metro area. We handed them over to um, urban artists to engage with the community to then create murals um, of these sites. Um, so from this, so how does this connect into here, I guess? So Alvaro, can you grab that, um, the MySpace up? Basically, we needed to connect to these, uh, to the youngsters. Um, and the best way of doing that, obviously, the 14, 15, 16 year olds, they don't read papers, they don't uh, listen to the radio, they don't watch the TV news. So this was quite hard for us because we don't actually have Facebook or MySpace, MySpace access within the PTA. So we had to ask for it firstly and then create these pages. So we created this um, MySpace page, which um, we've only got, I think there's about 60 friends, but it's building, it's only, only a couple of months old. So we loaded it up, um, the kids did the graffiti, did the, uh, did the urban art, we then, um, maybe just click on that video Amor, and show the, get that one there, just a quick 30 seconds of that. So maybe while that's waiting, we, we basically took uh, videos of the kids and created a little video production, put it on our site. The kids were having messages and you know, linking up and creating themselves as friends as a way for us to sort of get across to the kids and connect with them um, and hopefully close the loop on this stuff and say, look, you don't need to be doing bad stuff, you can come to us, we'll give you a site, you can do a good uh, a legal graffiti, a legal, not graffiti, legal art um, and we'll give you that, the access to do that and then you can become famous with your friends by having done that and be, on, be online. So I think it's actually worked really well. Um, doesn't look like we're going to be able to show the video, but it, it, it basically it's still going. We're still doing this, and we're hoping to do this every year as part of our, um, I guess, not spending money on graffiti cleanup. Try and do these campaigns, and yet drive it home with, with something like this, which is quite new for us as a government agency to be able to use um, MySpace and Facebook. Um, interestingly, I think uh, Richard just said about Facebook before, and most people in this room have got Facebook accounts. We found that Facebook hasn't really worked at all because those kids, the 14, 15, 16 year olds, they don't have Facebook, but they've got MySpace. So MySpace worked for us um, and the Facebook didn't. So um, that's really just, we just wanted to give you a quick, quick rundown. Stormy Mills, well-renowned artist. A, a footbridge that was getting hit every night. We were spending $1,500 a week cleaning that up and it hasn't been hit since. It's very cold. Um, we're outside some kind of DIY place. Getting some high visibility vests so we can paint an extremely large bridge. <clears throat> in a place called Rocking Town. So you, you get the idea. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of hits on that, very popular. But I guess what we've learnt out of it is you really have to keep adding content and you have to keep keeping up with it. We've got one person, in one of my colleagues every day, who's checking the messages, responding to the kids, putting up new photos. And if you don't do that, it really just dries up and you, you don't get, the, it's not current, it's not fresh, and the kids don't want to use it. 
So I guess if you're going to do something, you've really got to commit to it, um, which I think we have, and I think it's yeah, really worked well for us. So um, yeah, thanks very much.